This video is going to walk you through the printing options in Blockbase Plus software. So first of all, um, this is a foundation print dialog and you get to this by selecting your block, which we have this block selected and going to the print options and choosing foundation pattern. Now, what I'm going to show you will be specific to foundation pattern uh, printouts, but I will also talk about the other printouts as well. So I'm going to select foundation pattern and you can go through and change your, your options here. I'm not going to get into that right now. There are other help articles regarding the sectioning and piecing and numbers um, and any of these options here. You can look on help articles, but for this specific video, I just want to talk about the print preview. So go ahead and click preview. Now when the print preview displays, you'll see all the pages in view. Up here at the top, it is telling me that I have total of five pages to print. What you can do is you can move and rotate and create new pages so that your printout is set up how you want it to be set up. So right here, you can see that I have the key blocks really large. Now that was an option that I chose in the dialog here. By default is checked as small and I chose large. I'm going to show you that again. So both of those key blocks are showing up on the first page. Then I have all of my patches. Now I'm going to move these around and then I'm going to talk about the different features of the print preview. So first let's move some of these patches into place. Now you can see as I'm moving these blue boxes show up. What those are are indicators of where your margins are. So you can see that I have it. I think it's probably set up to be about a half inch margin. So as I move it, it has created a new page for me. And now all of the pages are lit up and then I let go of my mouse and they disappear. If I click and drag again, they're going to show up again. So they're just an indicator. They won't print. They're just showing you where the margins are. So you can keep your content within those margins. If you have your your patch too close to the margin, you can see that part of the patch will get cut off into the other page. So that's a good indicator as you need to move this over. So that's what that is. So just continue to move things around to fit onto pages. Now this one doesn't fit nicely on here. I could just move these down, but you can also rotate. So this green handle here, you can click and rotate. If you hold the control key down, it will rotate by 15, 15 degree increments. And now you can move it into place. Now when I'm clicking and dragging, I'm just holding my mouse cursor down and dragging it around. You know which patch you have selected because it turns red when you have it selected and it's ready to be moved or rotated. Now these two patches you can see are too long for this page and that is totally fine. As you move them, there's no way to go up higher because you have a margin there. So this is going to have to be taped together. I'm going to move it down a little bit so that when I tape these together, it's going to tape halfway through this square. Now you can't see the lines now, but when this does print, you'll get a tile line here and here. On one of these pages, you will cut off that, that extra half inch and then tape it to this page. So you'll see that once you print it, you'll see that tile line show up. You'll cut one of them and then tape these two pages together and then you have your, your piece. So if any, page, if, if any patches are too big for a page, don't worry, those lines will print and you'll be able to tape them together. So now that I have my patches in place where I want them, I can go up and make some additional adjust, adjustments. So here, I can add a one inch scale square. If I click on that, it will add a scale square. I can move this around if I want to. I like to keep it on the first page, but that's a good way to test to see that your patches actually are to scale. They should be perfectly to scale when you print directly to a printer, but if you are 
creating a PDF pattern of these, then sometimes the PDF will scale the, the design. So you'll be able to measure that to make sure they're accurate. Next over here, you'll see some different options for zooming. So this first one here, I'm going right to left, is fit page. If you click on this, it will fit this first page in 100% in view. Everything else will be zoomed out. You can also click Control F or Command F to use this option. This option here is fit all. This is to fit all the pages in view. And that's what we originally were seeing. So fit all will show all the pages. Fit page will fit the first page. As you're zoomed in, you can use the scroll bars to, to move around. Or you can use the, the pan tool. You click the pan tool and you can click and drag the pages around. In the pan tool, you can use, you can just select the H to switch to pan and the and the V to switch back to the select tool. So the select tool will let you select an item. The pan tool will let you move the pages around. Again, just click the V on your keyboard or click the H on your keyboard. Now back over here on the zoom options, you also have marquee zoom. And what marquee zoom is, is it lets you zoom in in a spot. So you click, hold, and drag a box around the area you want to zoom in on. And then when you release your mouse, you'll be zoomed in on that area. So I'm going to zoom way out back to fit all. Select my marquee zoom, and I'll actually zoom in on this top area here. And I can see the key blocks a lot better. Next to marquee zoom is zoom out. And that is just a click of the mouse. So just click and it'll zoom out in different increments. You can also use control minus or command minus if you're on a Mac and it will also zoom out for you. The next option over is zoom in and again you just click it and it will zoom in. Or use control plus or command plus on a Mac and it will also zoom in for you. So control minus to zoom out, control plus to zoom in, and again, if you're on a Mac, you use command key. Now to zoom out to see all of the pages again, you do control zero. That's fit all. The next few buttons are delete, paste, and copy. Now you, these will are not enabled until you actually select a patch. So I'm going to select this patch. It is, it turned red. And now you can see that I have copy and delete selected. So I'm going to copy. And once I copy, you don't see anything happen except paste now is enabled. So I'm going to click paste. And now I have a second one of these units here and I can move it into place. If you decide you make a copy and you don't want it anymore, you can select it and click the X button or you can click the delete button on your keyboard. Again, Want to select an option and there's copy. You can also use control C or command C and then control V or command V to paste. And then delete key to delete. So that is how you move things around and how you, um, zoom in, zoom out on the print preview. But up here on the top, the most important part is what to do with this printout. Now that you have it ready to go, you can just click print and that will pull up your print box. So you can select your printer, you can choose your preferences, whatever you want to do here. Or you can save as a PDF. So if I click save as PDF, it's going to direct me to my documents, my block paste plus folder, into the PDFs folder. Now, Block Base Plus will automatically name it the same name as it is in Block Base. So it is block number 1819. And I like to add that this is the foundation. So I know that 
this printout is the foundation printout for block 1819. I might also want to save the PDF for the templates of block 1819. So this way I know this is the foundation. So I'm going to add that to the file name and hit save. It's creating the five pages. And now when I go to my documents, my block page plus folder, I can open up PDFs or you can click the help button and that'll take you to our online support site or you can click close if you decide okay you don't want to print right now you don't you've already created your PDF you can just click close and that brings you back to the print dialog you can change your settings preview again or you can just close out if you're done if you have any questions about this please check our support site we will have more written articles um, and other videos coming soon